Hi everybody, Scott Breen in Billings, where Rockies cross-country men are locked in for a trip to the national meet, highlighted by legwork from their top two runners. When Elijah Boyd and Jackson Wilson laced up their shoes for the Frontier Conference Championship meet just a couple weeks ago in Haver, the fellas knew they had a legit chance to win it. Honestly, the race started out pretty slow. We hit like a 528 first mile. At like two and a half miles, I decided like it's our time to go and if we want to win this, we have to go now. It was controlled, it was comfortable, and we knew that you know, at any moment someone could make a move. I mean, we talked here and there and he just said go, and so I went. And from about the three mile mark in a race close to five miles long, neither of them really looked back. Boyd recalls thinking he was in a slugfest with the field before hearing his assistant coach down the stretch. He was like, you got a 35 meter lead on the, the next guy. And I was like, this is it. Like, I mean, Jax and I were running, you know, shoulder to shoulder. It was something cinematic. Didn't really want it to come down to like an all out sprint finish, I guess. So, so Wilson kicked it into gear and won the conference championship race up in Haver by about 17 seconds. Boyd made it a 1-2 finish and the rest of Rocky's runners held up their end to slam the door on a men's team title. It was exciting. I went up to coach and I was like, we were counting teammates, seeing what our points were, and he had his score compared to the other teams. I mean, we were on top, so it was really nice. Did you smile then? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Going into the race, I just thought, you know, I mean, this is it. This is what we've been, you know, working so hard for the entire season. And really, his entire cross-country life. Boyd's journey started six years ago when his family moved from Tennessee to Whitefish. I mean, I just remember flying over Glacier National Park and being like, this is home. I think this is awesome. And naturally, he's taken advantage of the terrain and powder. We've got Big Mountain at home and picked up snowboarding the first year there and just been doing it ever since. Boyd says he can hold his own, but confesses he's not ready to trade cross country for collegiate snowboarding. Wilson is from Box Elder, not Montana, but South Dakota. He's thinking about computer science, but has no plans to give up running for collegiate esports. Though, as reserved as Wilson sounds, his choice of music might surprise you. Like rap music and just like stuff to pump you up pretty much. Rap, can you rap me a beat real quick? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do it. Elijah tried to encourage him, but Jackson was having none of it. Not sure what music Boyd listens to, but it was clear he left everything on the course. Everything. Ten minutes after the race, I found myself uh, buckling down and <laughs> throwing up my guts. But I mean, it, it comes with racing, you know, you just gotta leave it all out there and that's what everyone did. Every guy on the team was facing something outside of running and just to uh, know that all of our work paid off and that we're heading to the, you know, the big dance, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Meantime, the Bears have just under five months until that national meet in early April. In Billings, Scott Breen, MTN Sports.